Alright guys, went back today with the absolute nicest first focal plane optic I've ever tried. This is the Razer HD Gen 3 rifle scope and it's a 1 to 10 first focal plane low power variable optic. Optics Planet was nice enough to send this out to the channel for us to try out and I'm really glad they did because I truly believe this is the pinnacle of performance when it comes to low power variable optics in the first focal plane category. If you're unfamiliar, there are two main types of scopes. The second focal plane optic, meaning when you zoom in and out, the reticle stays the same size, making it only effective at one zoom level for bullet drop compensation and ballistic calculations. The next is a first focal plane optic, meaning as you zoom in and out, the reticle gets larger and smaller, making it effective at every single zoom level. And that's what we're looking at here. Traditionally in an LPVO, a lot of times you make a ton of sacrifices either at the high end or low end of a first focal plane optic, but you don't make any sacrifices with the HG Gen 3 because it is a premium top tier optic that doesn't cut any quarters. It's done elegantly, it works incredibly well, and we'll talk about all those specs and features. The exact model number can be found in the description below, and I've got the code 704TAC to save you 5% off your Optics Planet order. Before we get too far into it, I do want to give a huge shout out to Callaway Ballistics for sponsoring the ammo to help make this video. These guys sent over some 223 as well as Precision 223, and they've got 9mm subsonic 9mm, which is some of the cleanest burning I've ever fired, subsonic 300 blackout, and they're working on 6.5 Creedmoor and a few other rounds. I also have the code 704 Tactical for free shipping on ammo orders from these guys definitely check them out now the exact reticle on this is the ebr9 bdc reticle system and we'll talk a little bit more about that in a second but let's talk about the very basic specs and features of this optic so i've got it sitting on top of a daniel defense ddm4 upper assembly and i just grabbed this as an internet find love this rifle setup so i thought it was kind of fitting to put a premium optic on a premium rifle so this comes with a 34 millimeter tube and it actually comes with a tube extension in the box as more of a sunshade for an lpvo now generally you don't put one on an lpvo but with the ability to put this at a 10 power setting and the glass clarity and the reticle selection you can take this uh, scope out well to seven eight hundred yards depending on the setup you uh, put this on i believe it would be great for like an ar10 setup maybe a 16 or 18 inch ar10 or it's perfect for an ar15 platform like this so 30 filler millimeter tube great for the adjustments in the turrets it gives you more elevation and windage adjustments because of the larger tube diameter and the light transmission is absolutely spectacular it does have cap turrets and the turrets themselves are very nice they've got the numbers read out on them the clicks are audible and tactile very nice detents in there and you can tell by picking this up you are holding a premium optic. Now the price on this guy comes in at right at about $3,600 MSRP. That is a ton of money for a scope, but they're on sale on Optics Planet's website. A lot of the models as low as $2,500. So that's still nothing to laugh at, but when you pick it up and you start looking at it, you understand why. This truly is one of the nicest optics in the LPVO first focal plane category I've ever tried. The other cool thing about this actually is a locking illumination ring with on and off positions in here, and this gets daytime bright. And it's one of the uh, big deals about a first focal plane optic like this. Generally, the reticle on a lot of first focal plane optics is almost unusable for CQB at the one power setting. Because it gets so small on a lot of different optics, it almost disappears and it's very hard to use as a red dot. This, on the other hand, when that reticle shrinks down, the center part that gives you a lot of information actually illuminates red. I'm going to try to show you guys in the manual right here. With that being said, this little guy right here, which is large and gives you information, kind of shrinks down and illuminates red. And this truly can be used as a red dot at the one power setting 
on those top brightness settings. You can also turn it down for shooting inside your home or personal defense in a dusk or twilight situation. And this would also be perfect for hunting. And that's what makes this optic unique. I wanna stress that a lot. The optic is actually daytime bright illumination and that is incredibly rare. And Vortex is doing something very interesting to make that possible. And that's why you're starting to see the elevated price point. A lot of people make sacrifices, this optic does not. It also gives you a ton of information in the reticle system as well as a ranging tool right above there so you can range your target effectively at every single zoom level. Also gives you leader lines. It also gives you a duplex style reticle at the one power setting even when the illumination is off to guide your eyes to the center to take your shots. It's got a Christmas tree style reticle system like a precision rifle scope, yet it's still incredibly usable at both the one power and 10 power settings and everywhere in between. That is why I love this optic. Talking about glass clarity, again, some of the nicest glass I've seen on an optic, and the intro does not do it justice at all. Those are these uh, camera setups that attach to the end of the optic, and you're looking through an iPhone, through a lens system, through a lens system, then the scope, and it just distorts the image, but I do wanna kinda show you guys it in use, so that's why I include those videos, but this is some of the clearest glass I've seen. The adjustable diopter is perfect, and again, one of the sacrifices of a lot of one to 10 first focal plane scopes that I've seen, even in the five and $600 range, even in the $1,000 range, is that the one power setting, you get a fisheye effect or it's not truly a one power. The Vortex nails it. The one power is truly one power, and when you open both eyes and you adjust the diopter according to your eye relief and your distance, it truly looks like you're using a red dot optic, which blows my mind. Then when you zoom into the 10 power setting, it looks like you're using a precision rifle scope. Something like that is so unique and hard to find and rare, uh, that's when those prices start making sense. The eye box and eye relief is also very good, especially at the one power setting. And the eye box and eye relief is how far away, up, down, left, and right, you can be on the optic without it blacking out. If you ever look down a scope, you'll notice if you get just slightly off, it starts to black out the image or blur the image. This one is actually more forgiving than most, left, right, up, and down. It does a good job. It's sighted in perfectly, it held zero perfectly, and then Vortex has that VIP warranty. You can actually go through the listing on the Optics Planet's webpage to get all of the details, but this is actually a made in Japan scope. So that again lends to some of the just quality that you see in a Japanese rifle scope with uh, high definition glass. So they go through all of the glass, they go through all of the uh, detailed specs and features on their website that I don't wanna bore you with here. I just wanna kinda give you a user's account and this is truly one of the, the best jack of all trades rifle scopes you can possibly mount to an AR-15 or AR-10. Now, I know there are other premium ones out there that I've reviewed in the past, and those work very well. I also love the second focal plane optics, but this one being a first focal plane gives you a little bit more versatility. Now, can some second focal plane optics in that $1,000 to $2,000 price point beat this at the one power setting? And the answer is yes. Some dedicated second focal plane optics at the one power setting are going to be a little bit better, but then when they go to zoom in, you lose that effectiveness of the first focal plane, and this is where this starts taking over. So it's always a give and take. Nothing can ever be absolutely perfect, but this is pretty darn close to being one of the absolute best optics for doing everything you could possibly need. This is also IPX7 waterproof rated, so it's definitely going to be a battle-proven design. Uh, it can be submerged in water, and it's definitely going to handle the recoil you throw at it. In summary, I absolutely love it. It's a solid option. It's just a lot, a lot of money. Uh, but it's worth it in my opinion and if you can save up and splurge on something like this you are not going to be disappointed as i get older the the more and more videos i do the more and more reviews i do when i start settling down of picking up ar-15s and optics i really want to merge into a couple of go-to rifles and this is going to be an optic that stays with the collection for years on end because it is just truly a game changer in that first focal plane LPVO optics category. Again, a huge shout out to Callaway Ballistics for sponsoring the ammo for this video. And again, thanks to Optics Planet for setting this out. I'm a big fan. I think you're going to enjoy this optic as well. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.